In this tutorial, we're going to explain how to shrink an ISO image of a DVD that we backed up from our collection using DVD Decryptor. And we're going to show how to shrink that image using DVD Shrink so it can fit on a 4.7 single layered DVD. Now, just to mention about the, um, the ISO image. What we're going to use is a, a, a tool called Damien Tools, and it's a real simple tool to use. It's free. You download it, just search it on Google. But what it does is it emulates ISO images as if it was a drive. So that's what it's going to do for DVD shrink today. And we're going to click this button here, open this. And you see the movie Strays. Select OK. And it has a enable video preview button here where it actually shows you the movie as it goes along but deselecting it will speed it up because the system knows it doesn't have to show the video so I always leave that blank the video preview and once that goes on it brings you to this now just to mention briefly when you go to reauthor mode as mentioned in the DVD decryptor, you can uh, actually burn your movie to the video, the video files. And when you go in reauthor mode, you can shorten certain things up, take out the credits, do things like that, even take out the menus. Here, we'll be using the ISO. I just take out the uh, subtitles, whichever one is there. There's not too many there with this and you can play around with the um compression or I always leave it to automatic also pretty good backups then you select on that backup button yes once you select on that backup button you see your target device of course you have this selected for your DVD burner so you could burn that blank disk this is where the temporary files are gonna go the region is always region free the quality settings now you have performed deep analysts before backup and this really does improve quality but to have it unselected DVD shrink will move a lot faster I'll leave it selected it takes a little longer but you get better backups out of it just the regular options you can run it in low priority mode so you can actually multitask on your system without noticing uh, running slow or hanging and then the burn settings, the volume label, and of course the burner max speed. So once you have this all set, it's pretty much just select. Okay.